with the wind in the last turn. They've won six in a row. Can they make it seven? Or will Fremantle cause one of the upsets of the season so far? Sandilands full forward. Milburn's got him. So, just about to get underway. Final turn. Dockers by eight points. Longmere up, beaten by King. Taken by Hazelby. He got it to Black, who kicks it to half four. But Johnson was brave. He went back with the flight and marked comfortably. Kick out wide to King. It's an ace running pass, but that's ignored. So, King just wobbles it. In fact, almost floats it towards half forward, allowing Mundy to chip in, take a very good mark with an awkward football coming to him. Parker dishes off. And finds McManus, still inside defence of 50. Sean McManus back in the Fremantle side today. One of five changes. Adding some experience. Kicks across the ground. Back from where it came, Hazelby. But now they're broken as Troy Kick runs. Troy Cook runs to the outer side. Got a bad bounce, so puts him under pressure. But he got rid of Ablett. Couldn't get rid of Enright, though. Well done by Bartell. Knocks it intelligently towards Ablett, somehow got it to Gardner, and right, they work it well, the Cats, the kick for Lonigan was too much, had on, had on it, and going back, McManus, Chapman over the top, McManus, handball to Parker in all sorts of pressure, Thornton, and eventually the Dockers get the design result, a boundary throw in, deep in the Geelong Ford pocket. Soss, call it, who's going to win? It's a tough one, I'm going to stick with, no, I'm going to stick with Fremantle, if they can keep the intensity up and get the ball quickly into their forward eh? line, I, I think they've played the better footy so far. So, boundary throwing opportunity here for the Cats, Polak, the boundary umpire, didn't get it in too far at all. And Polak just double fisted over the line as we look at the Geelong bench, Thurley, Kingsley, Playfair and Shannon Burns. Await their opportunity in this final term. Some sunshine here at Skilled Stadium. Haven't seen much of that today. Ottens gets it down. Chance from Mackie hard up against the line. Tried to get it. Was he pushed in the back? No. According to the umpire, another boundary throw in deep in the forward pocket. Well, Ablett is waiting at the feet down there. He's a danger man, Chapman. Two small goal kickers for Geelong and Mackey, all circling. Alton's trying to feed them. Had to do his own roving for a moment. Ablett, Mackey, Alton's neutral ball. And good signs for this for the Cats. They've had two or three stoppages inside their forward 50. It wears defenders out. Three players to call on for Chris Connolly with Riley Dunn out of action since the opening moments. Alton straight to Polak. Who ran the gauntlet pretty well, and Mundy, who's a pretty impressive character, coming out of defence with a bit of confidence. Can he hit a target, though? The answer is no. But it finds him his man eventually. Good hit. And now they go forward through Dodd, right well, to that's a free kick. Sandilands. Yeah. Had to be a free kick. Jeez, it was a long time. It, it was, was late calling. It, it was a late call, wasn't it? Because the umpire was there. And this is and this is the, the beauty of, it, of this is that they haven't got anyone to match up against Sandlands. Maybe the only player is is uh, Scarlett, which they're going to have to take off McFarlane if Scarlett goes on, on to Sandlands. Knee nee, saw it. Look at that. If Milburn had a, a bear hug on him and wrestled him to the ground. And a 50. So he's right on the line. Well, what an unlikely X Factor he's proved to be. Aaron Sandlins rams it through. The ball back in the centre. King gets it down to Kelly, who hoists it high out wide. The chance for Gardner ball, and almost. Thornton. Well done, he does with his own ball. Great stuff, James Kelly. Pulls it back to the pocket. Now there's a relay free kick, or is it a mark to McManus? It's a mark to McManus. And he did pretty well, and he marks in the back pocket. So Fremantle full of running and looking at a possible upset against Geelong. Their lead is 14. A long way to go in this oh, last good. quarter, but if they take marks like that, they won't be beaten. McFarlane, who kicked two opening quarter goals, hasn't seen an enormous amount of it since, but he's been a target. Four marks, seven possessions, two goals, one for the day. Couldn't hit Pavlich. Hunt trying to mop up, Ling, all slick movement by the Cats. Milburn took a moment, lingered till he could find someone. Applet swoops. Ottens just couldn't oh, get there. Pick what a pick out. 
Belied his height. Back to Ablett. To Mackey. The young man, Andrew Mackey. That'll get the crowd going. Chance for Garden now. Tries to knock it to his own advantage and does very well, Charlie Gardner. Then got it to Kelly. Johnson chips it short to Mackey. The cat's away here. High towards half forward. Coming out on the lead is Ottens. Here's a good look at what's in front of him. Oh, look at that for a kick. It's absolutely perfect. And the cat's got it in two points. King with the tap that time. Carr. Dodd. Bartel, watch out, car was coming. Now Ling, Hazelby. Oh, it was only a half hand oh, ball. Well that was slick stuff from Hazelby. Sandlins to Bell. He controls the kick. The spoil was not bad at the back. Jeff Farmer. And David Johnson saw him almost to the line. Oh, but Farmer, he'll go solo. Oh, he does it. Jeff Farmer and Fremantle with Farmer's fourth goal. But instead, he milks the clock. Just got to find a kick inside their forward 50. Polak down there now as well. Going short, Thornton now. Surely they can't just keep doing this until the end of the game. Geelong have got a man up. Mundy goes into the middle to Cook. Will he play on? No, he's going to go back. He's got plenty of leads inside 50, but also plenty of Geelong jumpers, and that's why there's men loose. They have to man up and go one on one. Surely they know that. This is Dodd. This is tension. This is great footy. This is where Geelong well, have got, got to be smart. One. They've got to find one, Geelong. Now they've got one on one. Umpire calls Grover well, on. He just blasts away. No mark. Enright, down to Bartel, Burns, the smallest man on the ground, takes the mark. And Geelong have to get the ball back to him quickly. He's got Ling forward. Listen to the crowd. Shannon Burns, hesitation, five points the difference. Kick it, they yell, and kick it, he does. Ottens, yes, he's got it. Five points the difference. Brad Ottens. And it was a huge grab too. Burns did very well. He wanted the tall target. He was just waiting for Ottens to push up the ground to present. Great grab, Brad Ottens. Well, they've adopted him so far this year that he kicks this goal. He'll be one of their own. He'll be a long boy through and through, Chris O. No doubt about that. What a big kick. Brad Ottens. A collective groan around Skilled Stadium. Four points in it. Well, it's possession football now for the Dockers. Hold possession. Get a short one off. Hold possession. Have to think there's still two or three minutes left. So, plenty of time for either team to score. Black's got it at fullback. Not much to go to. He goes wide. Burns in good position in his marks. So, Shannon Burns, two critical marks in the last minute. Wastes no time. Kicks it high and long towards half forward. There's an interference there. Ball to the back. Chance for Chapman. Can he get boot the ball? No, he's wrestled over the line. He's wrestled over the line. It's one point only. Margin, three points in favour of the Dockers. What an epic battle we've witnessed this afternoon. The Dockers, against the odds, have served it up to Geelong and they're holding on by their fingernails. Parker at fullback. Time ticking down. Needs to be precise. Kicks it to a big pack. Going back, Bartel, ball to the fall. To the front of the pack, Shannon Burns again. Was he tripped? Handball, looking for Mackey. The Dockers in on top of it. And we'll get a bounce at centre half forward. They can't bear to watch the locals. Three points the difference. 
You would think only a couple of minutes now, Chris Connolly, perhaps on the verge of one of the wins of his coaching life. The long mirror over the top of it. Fremantle happy to hold it in there. And another bounce. 28 minutes ticks over. They can't hear you, Chris. They're, he's yelling and screaming. Mark Thompson in the coach's box. 70 metres out from Geelong's goal. They'll rush onto this, Geelong. Try and get a hit forward. They surge. King gets the tap. Shannon Burns. Cook just blasts away to the wing. Bartel tries to get there. Pavlik straight for the boundary. Hit the boundary. And he does. Not deliberate. What do you reckon, Sauce? Oh, no doubt he's gone for the boundary. No doubt, but he couldn't would, do much else. Would have been a brave call, wouldn't oh, it? Oh, would have. But his intention was to hit the boundary. No doubt about it. Can't be too long left now. 29 minutes. King over the top with Longmuir. Johnson, Carr. They've been magnificent, Fremantle. Pavlic, he's got it. If he kicks straight, it'll be all over. Huge sigh of relief for Chris Colley. He knows that if his star forward can kick this, the game is theirs. They're, they're already celebrating. Matthew Pavlic. He is taking a very long time. Siren, they've done it! Fremantle have done it! A deathly silence around Skilled Stadium. A massive upset. The icing on the cake for Matthew Pavlic. It matters little. He drives it home. Fremantle have won. Unbridled jubilation for the Dockers. And they deserve it. It's a memorable victory from the men in purple. Yes, a wonderful performance. Matthew Pavlich, one of the stars of the day. Fantastic effort from him.